Hey, this is Caitlin Scoggins. So, I decided that for my material culture project, I would do a vlog on something that I have no idea what I would do without. My glasses. Eyeglasses are something that millions of people across the globe use on a daily basis. Whether it's for something that they have to wear all the time because of a serious eye condition, something to help them see better when they read or drive, or just because they like to wear glasses because they look cute. Whatever the reason a person wears them, glasses have become a huge part of the culture in America and shapes how we view ourselves and others. So to help better understand glasses, let's start with the history of glasses. Okay, so according to the foundation of the American Academy of Ophthalmology, even though the concept of fixing vision issues had occurred earlier in time, like in Greece, in China, in Egypt, the first eyeglasses occurred sometime in the 13th century and were used mainly by monks and scholars, the educated men of the time who could read and afford to make or use the handcrafted lens in themselves. We're going to now skip ahead to the 18th century. Glasses were starting to have pieces attached to them that held them over the ear or temple, rather than just resting them over the nose or being held. These included glasses, like wig spectacles, that were specifically made to go over the rock and wigs that men wore. The people who usually chose to hold their glasses over their head or just above the nose didn't wear their glasses all the time, like George Washington or Napoleon Bonaparte. Also, during this time period, Benjamin Franklin invented the bifocals, which was an important invention for all people who have trouble seeing close up and far away. By the time the 19th century came around, glasses were being made by large-scale manufacturing companies. People could now find glasses at general stores or from traveling salesmen. But there were still styles handmade that were used mostly by the upper class, like the Longier, which are dainty glasses that we now see mostly in opera films. You know, those ladies just holding them right there. But today, meaning the 20th and 21st centuries, eyeglasses have become an industry of their own. The styles change quickly, and so do the style of the glasses, because if you don't have the glasses that go with your outfit, you're old-fashioned. And now, also, we don't just have glasses to help fix eye problems. You also have the choice of choosing between contact lenses and eye surgeries to help your sight. These options completely change how people who wear glasses are seen, and just choosing to wear glasses as a fashion statement. This all affects how a person is seen by society and our culture people who wear glasses, there are certain stereotypes that are well known and have a lot of effect on what we choose to wear or not to wear. One example of this is when people who wear glasses are seen as being more intelligent and more untrustworthy, more trustworthy, but less attractive overall. Leader, Forster, and Gerger did an experiment in 2011 on how people with glasses were perceived and recognized by others. They found that when people are making judgments on intelligence, they are more likely to say the person with glasses is intelligent. However, when it comes to attractiveness, the people who wear glasses were usually seen as less attractive. They argued that a possible reason for the lack of attraction could be our associations of wearing glasses with health, since many people don't wear glasses just because they can, but for fixing eyesight instead. But either way, that association isn't just found in the experiment, but is many times observed in the media as well. There are TV shows and movies like Napoleon Dynamite and Scooby-Doo that all have this character in glasses as a lovable but maybe misguided nerd. They have intelligence in some sense. They could be really smart in some subject, or they're just really wise in some way, and are loyal to the other characters in the show, but they aren't the attractive, confident lead character 
you usually see. There are some shows where they are the lead character, but they're still the awkward nerd. They're not super confident in themselves. They're kind of a sidekick still, even in their own TV show, because they're always trying to be this super popular person and not accepting themselves as they are. And then there's an age thing with glasses as well. I mean, a lot of times people will associate glasses wearing with old people since, you know, older people do have a tendency of needing the glasses more than younger people because the eyes are more worn out by that time. And then the thing is, the older people are usually wearing like those monstrous glasses, the super huge big round or square glasses that are old fashioned and kind of out always out of style, like what Robin William wears in Mrs. Doubtfire. This social meaning deals more with like the degrading health aspect that Leader Forster and Gerger talk about in the study. And it's just how we see older people like you think of an older person and you usually see them wearing glasses. It's just something that we do and maybe don't even realize it. And then there's that whole group of people that wear glasses for fashion only. The people who have the frames but no real need. And this is a completely different feel on glasses because that is attractive because they're just wearing it but they don't actually need them. So it's kind of not the same because you know they can just take them off and it's fine but there's people who actually need lenses and that's where it gets you know sticky again. So overall there are are a lot of social meanings that go with wearing glasses, but they do have some really good connotations for us. They make us sound smart, even if we aren't. We're more trustworthy than other people, apparently, but that's not always true, and it can get us in trouble if we don't fit in with our stereotype. And that can lead us to do things like get laser surgery or wear contacts because you know, that doesn't have the same meaning as wearing glasses. But, uh, thank you for watching.